With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, the question is that f x equal to this x to the power 135 plus x to the power 125 minus x to the power 115 plus x to the power 5 plus 1. If f x divided by this x q minus x, then the remainder is some function of x say gx, then gx is n. All we have to see in the option is the one one function, many one function, on two function, and this sorry, input function and on two function. Clear? Now in this question we can see that this fx is equal to x to the power 135 plus f to the power 125 and minus f to the power 115 and plus f to the power 5 and plus 1. It's clear. And it is divided by this. So we can see that it is divided by this x cube and minus x. Now we can see that the maximum power of this divisor is what 3 and the minimum power of this fx is what 5. So highest power of the reminder we can see that highest power of the reminder is equal to we can write this is the minimum power of this fx 5 and this highest power of this divisor is 3. So this is equal to we can see that we have to divide by this. So remainder power will be just one second x to the power 5 and divided by x. So this x is square. So highest power of the remainder is what? This x is square. So remainder gx should be a quadratic equation. From here it is clear that gx should be a quadratic equation. So let us consider this gx is equal to ax squared plus bx and plus c. This is the gx. Now, as we know, this fx should be equal to fx should be equal to this qx. This is the quotient and divisor. This is x cube and minus x and plus remainder. That is the gx. Clear? Now, from here we can see that. This is equal to fx is what this x to the power 135 and plus x to the power 115 minus x to the power this is 125 is this. This is the 125. 125 minus x to the power 115 and plus x to the power 5 and plus 1. This is equal to qx into this x cube minus x and plus gx. gx is what? ax squared plus bx and plus this. Yeah. Now from here we have to find the value of a, b and c. So let x equal to 0. So we have to assume here let x equal to 0. If you put x equal to 0, then we can see that. So this is 0, 0, 0, 0. So in left side, we will get 1. In the right side, we will get this. This is also 0. This is also 0. And right side, we will get c. So this c equal to 1. Now, if you put x equal to 1, if x equal to 1, then this is equal to if 1, then this is 1 to the power 1 plus 5. This is 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and plus 1. And this is equal to this 1 minus 1, 0. So this term becomes 0. So this is equal to A plus B and plus C. Okay. So from here we can see that this one and this one cancel out. So 3 is equal to a plus b and plus c and c we have found it earlier that is equal to 1 so a plus b is equal to 2 we can write clear 
let us consider this is the first equation. Now, if x equal to minus 1, if x equal to minus 1, if we put minus 1 in this equation, then we will get x to the power 135, means this is minus 1, minus 1 to the power, this is the odd number, that's why this is the minus 1, and again minus 1, now again this is minus, and this is minus 1, and this is what minus 1 and plus 1 and this is equal to if this is minus 1 then we can see that this term is equal to minus 1 and plus 1 this term is 0 so we will get this is equal to a minus b and plus c is clear so from here we can see that minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 this is equal to a minus b and c is what? 1. So we can put here plus 1. So this and this cancel out. This and this cancel out. So we'll get a minus b is equal to, we can see, this is equal to minus 2. Let us consider this is the second equation. Now we have to solve first and second, then we can find a and b. So a plus b equal to this. Now from first and second, we can write from first and second a plus b is equal to 2 and a minus b is equal to minus 2 okay. so from here we have to solve then we can find the a and b value so here we can see that 2a is equal to 0 when a is equal to 0 okay. now if a is equal to 0 then b is equal to what and from from first or second we can find so this implies that b equal to 2. now we can find a gx so this gx is equal to as we assumed earlier this is the ax square plus bx and plus this so gx is equal to we can see from here gx is equal to ax square means 0 and plus bx means 2 into x and plus 1. This is the gx. Now we have to say about this function, gx function that is equal to this. Now for this, we have to draw the graph of this gs function. So now we can draw the graph of this gs function. Let us consider this is the y axis and this is the x axis. And this is the y axis. So this is the y axis and this is the x axis. If x equal to 0, then y equal to we can see that 1. So this is the one. The ordinate of this is 0, 0 and 1. If this gx is equal to 0, then we can see x equal to minus 1 by 2. So coordinate of this is what? minus 1 by 2 and 0. Yes. Now, this is the okay. So, this is the Now, what is this function? So, the straight line. So, we can see that at every x value, there is a single y value. So we can see that at this x value, there is a single y value. At this, there is a single y value. So the dx value. Now we can see that at every x, there is a single input and single output. Clear? Yeah? So we can see that this function is a one one function. Clear? Yeah? And also, for one one function, we know that if f x1 equal to fx2 and then x1 equal to x2 then we can see that on the one function. So from gx we can also see that this g into x1 is equal to what? 2x1 and plus 1 and g into x2 is what? 2 into x2 and plus 1. So from here we can see that if gx1 is equal to gx2. So from here we can see that 2x1 plus 1 is equal to 2x2 and plus 1. 
this implies that x1 equal to x2. Okay. So from this we can say this is the one one function. So we add that here one one function. Okay. Now if this is the one one function, so this is not a many one function. You can see in the option. If this is a one one function, then this is not a many one function. So this is wrong. Now into function. In, for into function, we know that this four domain should be this then arranged. So from here we can see that this. So this will be we have to add the domain and arrange. So four domain four domain of this function is what minus infinity to infinity and the range we can see minus infinity to infinity. So this is the onto function we can say it is not the into function, it is the onto function because domain and range is what equal. So this is the onto function. So A and B is the right of the function. For this answer is question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.